has condemned Sunday's drone strike on the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant. However, the agency stopped short of admitting that Ukraine is to blame. Western leaders have also failed to do the same, and that's drawn condemnation from the Russian foreign ministry. Are Biden, Macron, Scholz, and other wildlife defenders aware that their subordinates on Bankova may leave nothing standing? The world community is obliged to recognize and respond to this act of nuclear terrorism by the Kyiv regime. How many more times should the armed forces of Ukraine fire at the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant so that the West and the monster Zelensky fed by it will stop repeating this deadly act of their bloody circus? This latest attack uh, took place just before midday, whereby three Ukrainian FPV drones, otherwise known as kamikaze drones, uh, are reported to have struck the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant, which, again, is the largest in Europe. One of the drones uh, hit the port facilities serving the nuclear power plant. Another drone impacted near the dining hall, uh, which is, again, used by thousands of civ civilian employees of the nuclear power plant. Three people to have been injured. Uh, and the last drone hit the sixth reactor building. The IAEA has been warned, they've said so themselves, uh, of this strike. They've uh, been informed that it has happened. They've also said this is consistent with their own observations. As just 20 minutes before this latest strike, uh, the IAEA, International Atomic Agency, had a team on the ground conducting an inspection. International Atomic Energy Agency experts have been informed by Zaporozhye nuclear power plant that a drone detonated on site today. Such detonation is consistent with IAEA observations. I urge to refrain from actions that contradict the five IAEA principles and jeopardize nuclear safety, Director General Rafael Grossi said. The walls of these reactor buildings are very very thick. They can, uh, they can withstand huge impacts. There's very little risk that the drone would have penetrated the nuclear, uh, the, the, the building itself. The threat is, however, that it could destroy the vital and critical infra infrastructure serving the reactor building, and that is uh, uh, the, 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 the water pumping mechanisms, the coolant systems, uh, the power systems, which could, uh, by their own, lead to a, a critical failure within the reactor building. Uh, itself. The, the uh, Ukrainian side had previously shelled the reactor complex, uh, the nuclear power plant, repeatedly. Repeatedly, there are multiple attacks. There's damage at the nuclear power plant. Uh, vital systems had been da damaged before. Nevertheless, uh, the West has refrained from outright criticizing Ukraine for these strikes. But now Rosatom is ringing alarm bells saying that this cannot be allowed to continue and that there must, must be condemnation of the Ukrainian government, pressure on the Ukrainian military to end this. Former U.S. Army reservist Scott Bennett says the Western ignorance of the Ukrainian strikes on the nuclear facility could backfire on Kiev's sponsors themselves. Well, it's, it's a remarkable display of cowardice or ignorance or even more frighteningly a complete delusion and incompetence uh, on the part of these European leaders to not recognize that the destruction of the largest nuclear plant in their, in their continent, Europe, uh, would, would result in devastating, catastrophic uh, environmental effects, economic effects, social effects. It really would, uh, it could be the trigger to domino the collapse of Europe and its government system. So Zaharova is exactly right, and she says it ever so eloquently, as she always does, that uh, this is uh, the time that the European leaders must wake out, out of this hypnosis that the United States has lulled them into in their adoration of this silly little comedian Zelensky and recognize this isn't about uh, games anymore. This isn't about the military operation. This is about a turning to madness where not the Russians, but the Ukrainian Zelensky Nazis or whoever these uh, maniacs are, are actively targeting a nuclear facility in an act of political suicide. China says.